Hello, and welcome to the Memory Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to digitize your vinyl records using the Audio-Technica Stereo Turntable and the software called Audacity on the Mac desktop in the Memory Lab. The things you will need are your 33 or 45 vinyl record, a library card, flash drive to save your content, and headphones. As always, you will also want to grab the Equipment Resource Binder for step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the equipment. Before you begin, plug your headphones into the headphone jack located on the back right corner of the monitor. Log into SEUMAC3 using your library card by entering your patron ID and your PIN. Your patron ID is the number on the back of your library card. Your PIN is usually the last four digits of your phone number. You could also sign in using your username and password. Open the Audacity software by clicking the icon on the desktop. This is the program you will use to record and digitize your tracks. How to use the turntable. Place your vinyl record on the turntable with the side you'd like to record first facing up. If needed, use the 45 RPM adapter. Select the size of your record, 12 inches for 33s and 7 inches for 45s, by flipping the switch located at the bottom right corner of the turntable. Choose the speed of your record by pressing in for a 45 RPM record or leave the button out for a 33 RPM record. To start your record at the beginning, press Start. The arm will lift and lower, then start playing your record at the beginning. If you want to choose your track, press the lift lower button in to raise the arm. Gently place the needle at the desired start location on your record. When you are ready to play, press the lift lower button out to lower the needle. Be sure to use the stop and start buttons on the turntable to switch side A and B. When you are ready to record, press the record button located in the upper left section of the toolbar in Audacity. On the turntable, press start or the lift lower button out to lower the arm at the point where you'd like to start your record. You will now hear your first track. Vinyl record tracks are recorded in real time. You will now listen to your record through your headphones. When your track ends, press stop on the toolbar in Audacity, then record immediately to start another track. The software will start a new track bar below the first one. Be sure to press the mute button on the previous track while recording the next one. Otherwise, you will hear both songs layered on top of each other. If you do not hit the mute button right away, no worries, your track is recording without the layering effect. When you're finished recording, press stop in Audacity and stop on the turntable exporting your tracks. Insert your flash drive into a USB port on the USB adapter connected to the desktop. Activate the port by pressing the button corresponding with your flash drive port so it lights blue. When you are finished recording, unmute all tracks. In Audacity, choose File, Export Multiple. The Export Multiple window will pop up. In the Export Format field, choose MP3 Files. In the Export Location field, click Choose. Select your flash drive located under Devices, then click Choose in the lower right corner of the window. Click Export in the Export Multiple window. Edit metadata for each track by entering the artist's name, album title, and track titles. Click OK and repeat for additional tracks.
Once you have finished entering the final track, it will export your files to your flash drive. From your flash drive, you can load your digital music to a digital music catalog such as iTunes or Windows Media Player, or burn to a CD-R disc. You have now digitized your vinyl record. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, contact the Information Desk at the South Euclid Lynnhurst branch.